The Laconia Soul Conflict was a short but important war in human history between the defending forces of the Earth Mars Coalition and the Transport Union against the invading flotilla of the newly established Laconian Empire. The forces of Sol were quickly overpowered and overrun by Laconian forces. This led to the military occupation and eventual annexation of the system into the Laconian Empire, and Laconia soon became the sovereign ruler of all humanity. Before the conflict started, the Laconian Empire announced its claim over all the rest of human space. This led to the contracting of the private vessels Corvette Rosinante and the cruiser Tori Byron by the Transport Union. Both vessels were tasked with engaging the Laconian vessels to defend Medina Station. The station's railguns would be assisting both vessels in the engagement. The initial contact between Laconia and Medina Station, which was controlled by the Transport Union, was violent. Two Laconian naval vessels, the Heart of the Tempest and the Gathering Storm, emerged from the Laconian Gate and advanced towards Medina Station. The Rosinante, Medina Station, and the Tori Byron underestimated the Laconians, however. As the Laconians were believed by the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union to be struggling economically. Instead, the Laconians were building a massive technological complex, and as a result became technologically superior to the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union combined. In the third battle of Medina Station, the Laconian vessels looked completely alien due to these technological developments. The Laconian vessel Heart of the Tempest engaged the defending force and fired its magnetic field projector weapon at the Transport Union vessel Tori Byron, essentially turning it into dust. The Rosinante captain ordered the railguns of the Medina station to fire at the Heart of the Tempest, only for the Laconian vessel's hull to absorb the fire and regenerate unusually quickly. The Rosinante stood down and the Laconian vessel gathering storm destroyed the Medina station weaponry and boarded the station with marine landing crafts. With the third battle of Medina station being a Laconian victory, the Laconian Empire took control of the Ringgate network and colonies of the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union. During the Tempest Jovian battle, the Laconian Empire sent one ship, the Heart of the Tempest, to subdue the joint Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union. The battle was swift, with the Laconian battleship effortlessly destroying the navies of both groups. During the battle, the Transport Union gathered valuable intelligence that would assist them in the next engagement. The Heart of the Tempest then moved on to destroy the Palace, which was considered to be one of the biggest stations in the asteroid belt. The Palace Tycho Complex was one of the most important shipyards for the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union. As the naval ships of the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union could not arrive at the complex in time, Tycho Station was ordered to detach from Pallas and flee. When the Heart of the Tempest arrived, it destroyed Pallas, leaving nothing but dust. This created a lapse in which every human in the Sol System experienced a blackout for nearly three minutes. The Battle of Point Leuctra was the final engagement in the Laconia Soul Conflict between the powers of the Soul System and the rapidly advancing Laconian Empire. Being fought within a strategic location between the asteroid belt and Mars, it was determined that this would be where the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union would make their last stand against the Laconian battleship, Heart of the Tempest. The Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union fleets would fire everything against the Laconian battleship, which would be followed by a nuclear strike. When this plan was enacted, the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union fleets had a massive amount of casualties. The nuclear strike against the heart of the Tempest failed, with the battleship being discovered to be still operational. Out of desperation, many of the Earth-Mars Coalition's ships attempted to ram the heart of the Tempest, but were all destroyed. At this point, most, if not all, of the Admiralty of both the Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union had been killed. The Earth-Mars Coalition and the Transport Union surrendered to the Laconian Empire. 
having been beaten and overrun. This led to a complete change in the human interstellar community, with the United Nations, the Martian Congressional Republic, and the Transport Union becoming puppet governments under a newly established Laconian Empire, which now ruled over all mankind. With a new authoritarian government being established within the entirety of human space, freedom is a long distant memory. However, it does not mean that freedom cannot be achieved again, as a new rebel cells are being established in order to fight imperial rule. Hope is not lost, and someday, the future may be determined by a single crew of a ship known as the Rosinante.